I'd like to talk about a concept that I call the balance of sound on the drum set. In this particular concept, I'm using the ride cymbal as the primary voice. With the ride cymbal being the primary voice, it will be the loudest sound of the instrument. That means that my snare drum, my bass drum, and my hi-hat must play underneath the ride. Now, because this is a very physical instrument, we're dealing with either stick heights, beater heights, or pedal heights. Most people don't realize the importance of these heights because that determines the exact sound. If I play my snare drum with a height such as this, I'm going to get that sound. If I lower the stick height, I'm going to get this sound. With regards to bass drum beater height, if I bring the bass drum beater back the full way, I'm going to get this type of sound. If I bring the beater height back a very short distance, I'm going to get an obviously softer sound. I use the same technique with the hi-hat. If I open my hi-hat a wide distance, I'm going to get a loud sound. If I open it a tight, smaller distance, I will get a softer sound. I really enjoy the physicality of this instrument and I feel that in a lot of situations drummers tend to play too loud in relation to the band. I think if we can control our dynamics through this concept of the balance of sound, we really can add something special to the music. We will have the ability to play more active, yet the drums won't be loud and the band won't be loud. In certain situations when we can build and grow, of course we have a full range of dynamics. But I think it's important to practice at low dynamic levels using this particular type of balance of sound. Throughout, my ride cymbal is the primary voice, and I've adjusted my technique to match the ride by playing it softer than the ride. So if I naturally feel like hitting at the same amount of force, the snare drum will naturally be louder than the ride cymbal. For these reasons, I need to play the snare drum softer by having lower stick heights to keep the sound under the ride. This also applies to the rest of the set. For example, the crash cymbal and the toms. If I naturally hit a crash cymbal at the same force as I hit the ride cymbal, the crash will be louder. That crash is too abrupt in relation to the ride. So I need to develop a technique where I can come and hit the crash softer than the ride. I feel this technique allows each sound of the drum set to blend better together and certainly blend and balance itself underneath the ride cymbal.